If you believe in Allah in the last day, speak well or be silent, speak good, say good things or be silent, right? This is what the Prophet ﷺ told. He told us to use the gift of tongues, not to backbite, not to speak ill of people. And if, and if you're warning about people, you speak in generalities. You don't speak specifically about individuals. The Prophet used to say, Ma baru aqwam. What's wrong with people that do this and that? Right? Now, obviously, if they're completely deviant, then that's a different matter. Uh, so that's, and that's hikmah, to know the difference. So when you look at the gift of, of language, what is underlying this gift is the ability of understanding, understanding. Which is that we, we have fiqh, and he'll go into these terms, right? We can, we can gain knowledge. So we have understanding. Allah has given the human being the ability to understand with the intellect. But the intellect by its nature has problems. One of the major problems of the intellect is that it's a triune intellect, right? You have three brains in your head. You have this R stem, you have a midbrain, and then you have this frontal lobe. In our tradition, and this is confirmed by science, even though they knew this a long time ago, the R stem is the Amara. It's, it's a reptilian brain, right? And most of the people in power are functioning like reptiles. That's why there's a whole, all these crazy theories about them being reptiles in reality and remove their masks and they're really lizard people and things like this. That is because they behave like reptiles. Now, I spent my summers on a cattle ranch when I was young, so I spent a lot of time with lizards. There were lizards all over the place. I used to watch them. They're very interesting creatures. The Arabs say, ahyaru min dab, more confused than a lizard. And, and I understand what that means. Some, somebody can hear that, but if they don't know lizards, they won't know what that means. Because a lizard, when it comes out of its hole, it's like, it's, <laughs> it looks so confused, you know? But one of the things, lizards are always petrified. They're just in a state of fear. They're always afraid. And so the reptilian brain, at the root of it, is fear. It's fear. But it has another quality, fear and desire. And so these, this is the shahwa, right? The quwa shahwaniya. This is the concupiscible soul. It's the soul that desires uh, food, desires sex, desires security, all these things. That's the nature of that soul. So it functions at that level. And that's why it's very primitive. And propagandists, advertising agencies, they understand this very well. And that's why they control the masses through social engineering by keeping them in this brain. This is where they keep the majority of human beings. They're in this brain. And it's a very low brain, but it's, there's a reason why it's there. It's, it's not a negative thing in and of itself. It's negative when it overrides the other brains. Imam al-Ghazali called this the pig. He called this the pig soul, that its nature is like a pig. It just eats and eats. It'll eat its own young. That's what a pig does. Khanzir will eat its own offspring. And so in, in that way, if it's left to its own devices, it becomes destructive. The midbrain is the center of the emotions. And this is, in our tradition, called the quwa al-ghadabiyya, the irascible soul. One of the things that, since we're in uh, Mawlana al-Rumi's city, one of the things that al-Rumi said is the reason God prohibited 
alcohol. I mean, this is his hikmah. You can't really say other than, I mean, Allah said that it's harmful. And, but it says that it, shaitan wants to sow hatred amongst you. And so what Mawlana Rumi understood from that, he said the reason that Allah prohibited alcohol is because most people, if you remove the veneer on their intellects of rationalism, they become angry. And that's why drunks often become very belligerent. And so he said it's really veiling people from this aspect of themselves. Because if you haven't controlled yourself, you haven't learned to control yourself, you have this anger in you. And that's why the Prophet, when the man said, Awsini Ya Rasulullah, he said, La taghtab. Don't get angry. Awsini La taghtab. Three times. Don't get angry. Because this quwa is very powerful. <laughs>